It's Friday, so it's time for another five minute Friday. We're going to go through some of the biggest and most interesting stories from the last week or so within the vegan and animal rights movement. If you're new here, my name is David Rams. This is my channel. We get into some controversial stuff. We get into some interesting stuff. If that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button right now and don't forget to drop this video a like. Do you want a cool vegan t-shirt like one of these from my website? Do you want one for free? Stick around till the end of the video to find out how you can get one. I'll tell you right at the end. Let's put those five minutes on the clock and let's get started with this week's stories. Vegan Outreach is a non-profit organization that does vegan outreach, like vegan activism. They have gone out and given 30,000 free vegan meals to insecure communities. It's great to see vegan activists, animal rights activists also going out and helping people whilst simultaneously promoting veganism and plant-based food. I think that's awesome. Peter has just launched a big wool ad in Australia. These banners against wool, they say a real simple message. We're individuals, we're not jumpers, we're something vegan. Pretty simple, pretty straight to the point. I don't see how you could argue with that, but somebody did argue with that. The chief executive of Wool Producers Australia, you know, this is going to be biased, made a statement about it. Let me tell you what she said. They've got a history of making far-fetched and false accusations, not just against wool, but across all livestock industries. In terms of their reputation, a lot of people know that they lie. I don't think your everyday consumers take a lot of notice of what they say. Peter preaches to the converted. There's not an argument against the advertisement. I love it when these industry people try to argue against logic and fail miserably. Over in the UK, people are going after the hunt sabs because the hunt sabs have started to target golf courses that are hunting on the golf courses to manage rodents, manage the animals. The SABs have targeted one of these golf courses. Let me read out what they posted about it. Call to action. We understand that Sturminster Marshall Golf Club are shooting rabbits now. Please can support us, contact them in any way you can and ask them to see shooting rabbits at once. If anybody from the golf club is reading this, we ask you to stop immediately. We will have no problems keeping SABs on the public footpaths around the rabbits to prevent the shooting. We can go about this easy way or the hard way. We know which is easier for both of us. And the golf club has said, oh, we're being threatened. People can stand on for public footpaths and do what they want. They've not threatened you in any way. They've not said they're going to come onto your grounds and do anything. The best thing about this is that this comes from an article that is pro-hunting. It's like a pro-hunting website. The closing statement of this article is, the call to action by the Sabs comes about a month after harassment of Muswell Hill Golf Club forced the course to end its Fox management program. But what they're trying to say is, it works. The Hunt Sabs did a great job with that place. They stopped them from killing the foxes in the Fox management program. And they're going to stop this golf club from killing the rabbits. So thank you for letting us know that the Hunt Sabs are effective. Two hikers were attacked by a bear in the mountains of Italy. The Italian government is issuing a death warrant on the bear. They've sent people to go and kill the bear. If you don't want to be attacked by wild animals, don't go hiking where wild animals are. It's fucking ridiculous. How does the bear deserve to die for defending their own territory? This is absolute nonsense and it's, it's just a real reflection of the human supremacy that we have in our world. In India, doctors and activists have sent a letter to the Prime Minister Modi to encourage him to promote the plant-based diet. What an awesome action. The global pandemic has caused many different industries to suffer and one of those industries has been mink fur farming. Over in the Netherlands, they've just put a ban on mink fur farming. Complete ban. This is a huge, huge move. It wasn't made for ethical reasons. It was actually made because of the crisis, because of the outbreaks in these places or the risk of it. But at least now it has stopped. Maybe we can see a silver lining to this whole pandemic situation in that these industries start to close down and stop completely. Were there any stories I missed from last week? Is there anything that you were hoping to see? Let me know in the comments and let me know what you think of this week's stories. Do you want a free t-shirt? Told you earlier in the video that you could win one. I've teamed up with A Billion Veg. It's an app where you can review plant-based products and vegan products and it's 100% free. You can review all the products in your home. You can review all products in restaurants. For every one review you make, $1 goes to an animal charity and 25 cents comes to me, which means if you make a certain amount of reviews, I can send you a free t-shirt and it costs you absolutely nothing. The month of July, this month, make 200 approved reviews and I will send you a free t-shirt. Go in the description, download A Billion Veg. Enter the referral code, Skinny Vegan Fitness. Yes, I know, I need to change that. And start reviewing. It's that simple. Send me an email at itsdavidrams at gmail.com and tell me which t-shirt you want and what size you want and your address. And I'll send it out to you 100% free. You can also use that email to send me any stories that you think are interesting or anything you, should, you think I should make a video on. I really want to get your thoughts and opinions and ideas for new videos. I'm open to all of it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.